Hello everybody, this is Mr. Storm. Today we're going to talk about AdWords and AdSense. AdWords and AdSense. Um, these are two products produced by Google that really can help us get our name out there and get our product out there in front of customers. Um, so let's open up the slides really quickly. I'm going to get rid of some of these things because I don't need them anymore. All right, AdWords and AdSense. So, at this point you have a product, you have a website, you have content, you have advertisements for many different platforms. So at this point, it's probably easy to just sit back and go, eh, I'm done, right? I have nothing else to do, my product's out there, people can find it if they find it, and if they don't, eh, whatever, right? We actually wanna take a more active approach. Um, so, publishing advertisements. So have you ever seen those sponsored ads at the top of a Google search or ads on another website. Whenever you go to a, ve a website, there are ads out there. Um, have you ever wondered how they got there? Um, how much does that cost? How do you get started? So on and so forth, right? There, there are a lot of different um, ads out there and it's not really that clear on how we put them out there. How do I pick the websites I want my ad to be on and so on. So we're gonna talk about that process today. Google AdWords. Um, Google AdWords is a program. It allows companies to make bids for ad spots on Google search engine and affiliated websites. So basically any website that's indexed through Google search, Google's search engine. Um, so that means like any website ever. Uh, the amount of the, uh, the amount that a company bids for each spot is weighed against a quality score. So if the advertisement is of high quality, uh, then it gets a better quality score. And the best ad with the highest bid amount, excuse me, gets top placement on that website or in the search engine results. And here's the cool part. Anyone can use Google AdWords, okay? It's, it's free to set up an account and it's free to get started to use it. Um, uh, so it's, it's accessible to small companies, not just large companies. Um, and if you use relevant keywords, produce high quality ads, bid strategically, you can get high placement for your advertisements. I mean, this is how people do it for real, for real, for real. Um, and you're probably thinking about how much it costs and how do you pay? Well, with, uh, with Google AdWords, you only pay when someone clicks on your ad. So if I go to a website and I see the advertisement and it catches my eye and I click on it, that'll take me to your website and you have to pay for that click, right? It's called a pay per click or PPC model, um, which means if no one ever clicks your website or if no one ever clicks your ad, you don't ever pay a dime, but that's bad because then your ads aren't being seen anywhere. Um, but if you get a bunch of people clicking, you pay more. But if you have a bunch of people clicking, that means you have a bunch of people going to your website. That means you're probably making more sales than you would. So you should easily be able to afford it, right? So that's the balance that's struck. Um, if you're done right, you really only pay, if you do it right, if your ads are great, if your website looks great, if your products are quality or of high quality, then you really only pay for your advertising when someone buys a product, because hopefully every time someone clicks on your ad, they'll actually purchase something. Um, if your ad's relevant and it brings customers to an engaging website, if the product is desirable, then this is a really good strategy for advertising. What about hosting ads on your website, right? So we have a website now and we have a bunch of free space on that website. Now, not a lot of companies want to do this because you don't want to advertise for, advertise for competing uh, products on your product's website. So a lot of businesses or a lot of companies, uh, people making money, freelance you know, people, uh, they'll create a separate blog or a separate website that's not technically to make money and they'll, you know, they'll have ads on that site. Right. And so when people click on those ads, you get paid along with, you know, when, when the company pays for the pay per click, uh, when they pay for that click, you get a portion of that money because it was on your website. Okay. So 
That is done through Google AdSense. And Google AdSense allows you to pu publish random but targeted ads on your web page. Uh, this is best done on a blog or content producing website uh, that has a large following, right? So something where you're posting videos or a web comic or a really good blog that people are reading consistently, put some ads on it, monetize the website, and get a little bit of extra income. So when companies use AdWords, they bid their price, right? Like we talked about before. And web publishers using AdSense get a portion of that bid when a customer clicks on the ad on their website. So as the web host, you get money whenever the marketing company pays for that ad. Um, so this is how a lot of websites make their money. A lot of websites, they'll build a free website, a website by free. I mean, your customers don't pay anything. There's no, nothing to buy, none of that, but they'll have advertisements all over the page. And when anyone clicks on those ads, that website makes money. So which one of these is right for you and your business? Is it just the Google AdWords? Is it the AdSense? Is it both? Is it none? It's up to you, right? Um, there's a lot of information out there about these products, and these aren't the only two products that exist in this area. But what I want you to do is go to adwords.google.com, and I want you to go to, go to google.com forward slash AdSense to learn more about these two programs, okay? Learn as much as you can about them because they're really powerful tools that you're probably going to want to lose or want to use later on in your career as an online entrepreneur and as an online digital marketer. Uh, when you're finished, you want to write a short 250 words or more description of these two platforms and how they can be used to help your business specifically. So write a short synopsis about these websites, about how, uh, about these platforms, how they're used and how you would use them on your website. When you're done with your uh, synopsis, upload it here to Google Classroom and you are done. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Please, please, please let me know. We're getting close to the end of the class. We only have this assignment and one left. So you definitely want to make sure you're learning as much as you can before we're done and you move on to something else. Um, thank you for paying attention and uh, I'll see you next time.